Hi, this is Paul. Welcome to X Caves Daily Podcast. There are times when we commit mistakes, not only to other people. We sometimes also commit mistakes to ourselves. An example would be failing in tests or exams, failing in job interviews, failing in reaching that goal you have set for yourself. There could be many reasons why this happened. It could have been caused by an uncontrolled circumstance, lack of preparation, or you just did not meet the required criteria to pass. Whatever the reason is, the fact is you did not achieve what you set out to do. We sometimes kick ourselves for failing. We say things like, if only this, if only that. We can wander and get lost in our own thoughts of what could have been. This is natural and this is important to do for self-examination to better understand the situation of what happened so we can be better next time. However, we sometimes think too much on it that we get drained thinking about it over and over again. We punish ourselves. By thinking over and over about it, we blind ourselves of other opportunities that can be better than the ones we tried and failed. Hey, It's okay. Yes, you failed in the exam, in your interview, in reaching your goal. But it's not the end. If it's possible, become better and try again. If not, then ponder on this thought. In life, there are so many things that can happen. There are so many things to do. There are so many possibilities and options that we don't see. Take a step back at life. Look from afar. Look at yourself. Look through the mirror and see your reflection. Ask yourself, What have you accomplished so far? What were the victories you achieved in the past? What were the times you said to yourself that life is good? Sometimes remembering these times can be difficult because sometimes we take for granted our own victories in life, especially the small ones that seem insignificant. If you find it hard to remember any victory, then ponder on this. You can't possibly remember this, but when you were born, your first achievement was surviving the first few days of being an infant. This may seem insignificant to you, but to your parents, to the doctors and nurses who were looking out for you, took it seriously. If you did not survive that time, you would not have been listening to this podcast now. We take for granted just how life can be good just by living and breathing in this world. Your next achievement was learning to turn and lie on your tummy so you can crawl. Your world as a baby has now become a little bigger. You can now roam and explore a bit, a little taste on what it's like to live in this world. A little taste of freedom. Then you learn how to stand and walk on two legs. Your bones and muscles are now stronger and now your world 
is becoming more and more bigger. You then learn how to communicate by uttering words or babbling baby talk. A world of opportunities opens up for you where you can express yourself, ask other people, and learn that living is not just about surviving, but it's a world full of interaction. You take all of these achievements with you and you grow and grow on how you are now. A human being capable of exploring, capable of thinking, capable of anything you set out to do that is humanly possible. You then go out to school, learn the basics of things, learn different subjects. Whether or not you got awarded for being the best in class or you were just this normal child who just got by, what matters is you did it. You overcame and learned something. You took all those basic lessons and applied it in your life now. In this world, it is not required for everyone to be the best in class, the best in the exam, the best human being. In this world, what matters is you are here, taking part by just being here, interacting, helping, growing, building this world to be a better place. When our fire is stumped out, when we fail at something, when things don't go our way, tell yourself, hey, it's okay. Forgive yourself for failing. Forgive yourself for not reaching that victory. Forgive yourself for not being the best you can be. There is a next time. Next time you try and do it better. Next time you prepare. Learn from this experience and apply what you learn next time. If there is no next time, then the world is a big, big place for you to find something that is even more better than the one you failed at. You may even find something that seems to be of low value but turns out to be a great treasure when you cleaned up the dust. Forgive yourself. Don't be afraid to go out. Don't be discouraged. Remember that you were born on this world with nothing but your own body. You overcame the challenges of going through life from being an infant to becoming the person you are now. Forgive yourself. Try again. Start again. Move on. You are an amazing person. You are capable of many things. You can overcome many tests and challenges. You are great. Stay inspired. Stay motivated. Stay positive in this world of negative. This is the end of part 5 of my Staying Positive in a World of Negative series. If you like this episode, consider giving it a like or a thumbs up. If you feel that there is a person that needs to hear this, please feel free to share this with your friends. I would really appreciate it. I would love to hear your thoughts and comments on this podcast. I thank everyone who commented on the previous episodes. Your positive comments fuels me to continue giving these podcasts. Please feel free to comment down below 
or message me through my Instagram at escape underscore TV or through my email tv.escape at gmail.com. If you wish to hear more of my daily podcasts, consider hitting that subscribe or follow button. This is Paul of Escape's daily podcast. Thank you for listening and have a great day ahead.